Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Serving with Purpose. I'm Danny, and I'm Carolina. And before Danny introduce our wonderful guest, oh we're so excited. <laughs> I have some messages for you. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Your help is very important. More people watching, the more money we make to share and help our organizations to grow and help more people. Me and Danny are serving. Danny serving at Sir and Roscoe Chickens and Waffles. So stop by, say hi, and I'm serving at Star Crab in Panorama. City. If you guys go there with your Reality Network subscription, you get a free appetizer. You don't have to buy anything. Just come and say hi and subscribe to Reality Network. Use the code SERVE and get $10 off and see us there in many other shows, amazing shows. And Danny, you know you're so excited that oh. you can go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everyone. So we're in for a treat today. You've seen this man on Bravo's hit reality series, Vanderpump Rules. He's a renowned actor and participated in numerous series and motion pictures in his home country of Buenos Aires, Argentina. He's a co-owner of the famous Sir Restaurant in West Hollywood. He happens to be my boss. <laughs> you guys <laughs> give a warm welcome to Guillermo oh, de Papa. <laughs> wow. What a pleasure to be here. Oh my goodness. Daddy, Thank Carolina. You. Congrats first, uh, uh, both of you, you know, uh, this is amazing, you know, they had the, you know, I'm always support, you know, you new know. ideas, new concept, and, you know, so here yes. I want to be present yes. and, uh, and, well, I share know. this time with you guys. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, my God. You are so busy. I thought you were going to say no, but thank you so much. I no, know. no, no. I mean, sometimes it's like you find the right time to do this, yes. but um, I'm constantly, you know, get the support. Um, Dan is always, you know, there, <laughs> you know, support, <laughs> sir, support everything that we do. So mm -hmm. for me, it's not, it's not only an obligation. It's, it's something that I, you know, I, uh, it's coming from my heart to be here and, um, just, you know, enjoy this moment. Thank I'm ecstatic. Like I'm <laughs> almost shaking right now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, wow. When you interview your boss, it's a whole type of new ball game. You know, it's like, you got to get up on it. Like I woke up early this morning. <laughs> So I was just going to jump right into it. Like, yes. I don't know, know what else do to do. Okay. <laughs> so you're from Buenos Aires, Argentina. Right. I was born in Argentina. Okay. In the city of Buenos Aires. Okay. Um, right the capital. A lot, a lot of years mm -hmm. ago. You know, 1968. Wow. So I'm 56 years old. I never believed. I didn't even believe that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like. 56. Oh yeah, yeah. You look amazing. Yeah. Thank you. If thank I'm you. If I'm lucky enough. I mean, I'm not that far behind you. No, but I'm I mean, just you, 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 I mean, it's just a matter <laughs> of you know what we do because you know yes. I can just say the same for you, ladies. Um, it's just to you know have discipline, yes. exercise, try to eat healthy, yes. and you know, and mind and yes. everything, you know, all together. And how together. do you eat healthy in a restaurant environment? I think it's just, you know, in the restaurant or at home, you know, you just have to have um, discipline, you know. I know, uh, it's hard. It's, it's a lot of, yeah. <laughs> That's the uh, you know, temptation is always there. Oh, well, you the know, food is to really get there, good. To get there, the food is good. <laughs> yes. But at the same time, you know, I, I, I have a restaurant that I want to people eat healthy, eat healthy mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, the same way that I want it to be. So I, I try to give the image of myself. You know, Absolutely. to the recipe and to the environment that we are. So it is, it's, it's not a hard, you know. It's, it's, right. it's, it's, it is. Yeah. It, when once you get to the hang <laughs> of it, hard. right? You have right. discipline. It is right. hard. <laughs> so what was life The like? bar part is a little more hard, oh, you yeah. know, to control that. But that's right. the extra discipline that you have to have, like, gosh. You know, the food you can do, but the bar is something like, you, it, you know. You almost have to get hypnotized. Like, no <laughs> drinking at work. No so drinking that, at work. You know, that's just something <laughs> extra. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah, we would never do that, Guillermo, by yeah. the way. We would never drink at no, work. Are no. you kidding me? We have me? the bar right there. Yes. But, you know, that's no, for the customers. No. no for us. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. That's amazing. So tell me what life was like in Argentina. Like, what was your life like? What was your experience? She told me she came from Brazil. Mm -hmm. um, there was, Paulo, yeah, 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 Sao Paulo. It was um, a very unique experience, like coming from Brazil to America. How was that? It, it is transition? totally different. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know the culture. In what ways? Yeah, yeah, the culture and everything. You know, my idea. I mean, since I remember, since I was um, teenager, I always dream about to visit Los Angeles. Um, United mm -hmm. States was something that I admire, but mm -hmm. Los Angeles, since I was involved since um, an early age with acting, and mm -hmm. my father have, 
um, Rodolfo. Uh, yeah, Rodolfo, my yes, father, sir. you know, yes, he, he have um, an enormous uh, popularity as a uh, singer, as an actor. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it, it became in my blood since I was a little kid. So um, I always like to think, you know, outside of the box. And so for me, um, you know, United States, Los Angeles was something always the big, you know. Yeah. Um, Argentina is a big, but, you know, it's always something but bigger Hollywood than that. But Hollywood, Hollywood is something that, you know, <laughs> it is something Tinsel very town, huh? <laughs> yeah. But my idea was not to, you know, when, when, I, when I was 22 years old that I was able to, uh, to take a break. Mm -hmm. I took a break for acting. Um, I was already established actor. Mm -hmm. And um, so I was just, you know, making a living or something that I love to do, mm -hmm. yes. acting. Mm -hmm. um, so I took a time and I said, I'm going to go see Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. So I applied for a tourist visa. I got it. Mm. And I, you know, I came to L.A. And the rest and is never history. Came back. <laughs> right. And that's what happened, you know, sometime in life. You know, you meet someone, you fall in love, you, right. life change for any reason. You have to start all over again. In my case, mm -hmm. I fall in love with the city, with L.A. Yes. Mm -hmm. Beside acting, beside everything that I had in my mind, it was very powerful, this city. Mm -hmm. It's a feeling that I... Biblia, I remember mm -hmm. how my heart was, uh, you know, shaking uh, yes. with, with, with the weather, with the people, with the knowledge of a language that I was not able to speak. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So everything is happening in 10 days. Wow. So in 10 days, I was like, wow, I'm supposed to fly back to Buenos Aires the mm -hmm. day after. So I was having a coffee in, in, um, in, in a place called on Melrose, a restaurant called Cafe Luna, which is no longer exist, but very popular at that time. So. Mm -hmm. I was sitting in there, I remember um, speaking with a pastor um, in Spanish, the only language mm -hmm. I was able to speak, you know, and I asked him, you know, how do you, you know, because I see all these young people that I could be one of them as a servers, Easy. you know, you Easy. know, or, or buster, whatever it was around people working. I said, mm -hmm. I can do that, Easy. you know, yeah. and um, so I asked him, how do you, how do you get a, a job doing this? Well, you know, it's simple. You, you don't speak English. So first thing that we do, um, when we come from another country and we don't have the, the language knowledge, you go in the kitchen and work as a dishwasher. And immediately, I, you know, asked the question, it might be a job for me here? Mm -hmm. And um, so it was the, the boss talking about boss. He was right there and uh, um, he introduced it, he translated and the guy said, I need a dishwasher. You want to oh. take the job? And, you know, I'm, you know you're going to start working be. tonight. Oh, and, uh, yeah, so perfect. I, you know, I decided to... Um, Take it. I said, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. See? Mm -hmm. And I started working <laughs> the same night. See? And the See? day after, I called my family and I told them, don't I'm come. I'm never coming back. home. And I'm, yeah, for the moment, you know, it, yeah. I didn't say never, but, you know, never. for the moment, I need a little more time. Yeah. Which was something very particular, hard for my parents. Oh, I'm sure. To, to understand what, what I was talking about. Of course. My father, he was a really, you know, in that time, it was not a computer or, so, um, you know, right. a, a cell phone. Right. It was 1992. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. But not so, that long ago, in 2009, when they come, you didn't have, like, you didn't have an iPhone. Or right, or totally. Anything. It was a, I mean, think the first thing that came in was the Sometimes the, the, Facebook the had to buy, like, a <laughs> card. Oh, yeah, the beeper, the, the beeper. pager. Yeah, that, yeah. Was, that was technology <laughs> the first time. Yeah. But anyway, I can't. I went to the payphone, which is payphone mm -hmm. you uh -huh. to be, you know, you put the coin yeah, in there. The coin. <laughs> yeah, So, I mean, I told them, don't don't go there because it's a So, first question for him was, <clears throat> you got a job doing what? You right. know, um, uh -oh. I was. Uh -oh. I, I'm a dishwasher. <laughs> I know. Telling your dad, hey, I'm and gonna this leave was, this yeah. to come here and be a dishwasher. I know your dad was probably like, what? Right. So he just <laughs> remind me. You know, I just want to remind you that you know you you just, you know you, you have don't a have family. to do that, right? <laughs> yeah, totally. You have a family. You right. have a, a job. Yes. And you working. You know, and the job that you wanted to, and 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 you're gonna leave everything just yeah. just to be a this. Yeah, of but course. you know, this is the first step because I'm. I'm planning to grow. I'm planning to build your life. I, I, yeah. I, and then I ended they up talking on myself yeah. in the phone because it was. Um, oh, yeah, it was no more. He was done. <laughs> it was, with it the was gone. He was, and then I called back and my mother <laughs> answered and he was just crying. My father. Oh, so my mother said, What's happened? I said, Well, this is what, okay. Well, you know, I, I taking care of that. Mm -hmm. You do what your heart is telling you to do. Aww. So my mother gave me the bless Aww. and I start. <gasps> and, you know, she had to make the story short. Mm -hmm. I went back to see my family eight years after. <gasps> so those 10 years, um, those 10 days, it became. Eight years. Eight years. Yes. Of, and your um, dad knew. That's probably why. You know, I'm oh, sure yes. he didn't know it was going to be eight years, but he knew he lost his boy he for lost, the moment. He lost, yeah. And I was the, the first one to leave the house. Argentinian, same like Brazil. Um, you just leave them you, you stay there forever. You know, <laughs> yeah, you don't, you don't 30, leave home. Oh, yeah, you don't <laughs> leave home. No, it's generations built there. And yeah. here, you know, 
you know, yeah. you go to college, you go to, they want to, they want to live. They, you know, they, they, they push you out. Yeah, they exceptions, push you out. But <laughs> majority, they want to, they want to, you know, immediately go home and, you know, experience college and, you know. Of course. Well, but yes. not in Argentina. You go to college, no. but you're still living with your but parents. But you still, until your you get still married, cooking. right? Yeah, your mom <laughs> still cooks for you. She still does the laundry and until all that. Until you get yes. married and then, you know, it's then another responsibility. Go. There you go. And, um, <laughs> yeah, so I start from there. I start as a dishwasher, but, uh, you know, with a clear vision that I want to, Grow and fast. I don't mm -hmm. have time to lose. So you know, you I knew immediately that you know, I need to communicate with people. Yes. Uh, forget about acting. I knew immediately. You know, acting is a long way. Right. You know, to get in. You know, right. to to even think about it. Right. But I'm gonna act of in course. life. Of you course. Know? No, Since no, I have no. that tool. Yeah. You know, the tool <laughs> of acting is very interesting. You know, as an actor, when you have it, you have kind of the power to you know create a different character for yourself. Excellent. And this character that I was creating, it is positive, it's energetic, mm. it's uh, dynamic, it's full of life. Mm. And um, I have personally a, a lot character? of those. But at the same... It, was that a character or that was... No, or it was, but you. it's a combination it of both you. of that. Uh -huh. But, okay. you know, you always have to think about it, you know. Even if I want to be that, you know, you it's hard, you know. You, you just, you know, you, 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 you miss your family, you miss of your country. Course. You miss yeah. yeah. your That's what I'm doing You hit yourself you know, in the, like with it. the language, you hit <laughs> yes. yourself with the cost, you know, the... The, the idea to be with a different culture. Of course, mm -hmm. yes. Everything that you do is a, a slash back to you because you're just doing wrong, not the way that you do it at home. Mm -hmm. uh, it's you different. Know, uh -huh. It's different. Yeah. So different. even if I want to, you know, be me, it's impossible. Mm -hmm. So I, I was half me, half somebody that you I created. You know, yeah. Yes. Yeah, so the other one, Guillermo, was still home, you know, mm -hmm. and then I exit. So that helped a lot. You know, see, this is always a message to people to say, you know, be positive, be... You know, and it's something you can, I'm related with you. Oh, yeah, I, of I don't course. know, I, I, you know, I start knowing you, yes. but I can yes. see the energy that you bring. It's, it's wonderful. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. the daily basis that I see Danny at work, he mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. full of energy, yes. you know, full of uh, optimism. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And it's something that um, I, I, I relied on that. And I think this is the key of succeed and success. And, um, I, you know, I, yes. I, I, I see that on you as well. Thank you, so. Guillermo. Learn from the best. <laughs> <laughs> You you do you bring that energy though. Every time we come to work, even customers, when he walks in the door, we're like, "Oh, daddy's home, daddy's home, daddy's <laughs> home." We don't you don't know that we call him daddy though no. because he's the no. daddy no. in the no. restaurant. We're like, "Papa's home, daddy's no. home." No. No. <laughs> it's like we all go and um, the customers they just, "Oh my God, Guillermo!" And he just comes in. He's how you doing? Like just a ball of energy, and you're I, so I, yeah. you know. Some people are like you know when daddy comes home, it's like, "Uh oh, everyone runs." This time we're like, "Oh." Oh, no, like, oh, no. you know, like no. Guillermo's we here. We here. love Guillermo. Yeah. yeah, he comes in and brings that energy. Thank and you. everybody does definitely, you know, tighten up. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. But you always yeah. come in smiling. You always bring such a pleasant work environment. You really do to the customers and to the staff. Thank you. And of I think course. it's important, you know, the, the, the time, it will be a time for you guys that maybe you will probably decide, okay, I'm going to be, a, I'm going to open my own place, mm -hmm. which is now you both are certified to yeah. do that. Yeah. <laughs> it take a little, um, extra decision and a little, you know, it's another extra commitment love. that you will have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you have that, yes. you know. Thank you. You have it for sure, and Thank I believe you. you have it as well Thank when you. you have that. And um, But that teach you that mm -hmm. what I do is um, something that is come organically, natural. Yes. And it's have to be like that. It, you are it's the authentic, boss. Yes. You ask the boss, you have to be, unless that you have a big team that they will help you to open, but I don't even want to put f look for that or mm -hmm. put in my head to open many other places, even right. if I have opportunity. Right. I think that, you know, if you want to do more in life beside the restaurant, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's hard to, you know, involve all your energy in one thing. You know, if Absolutely. I want to continue with my acting, producing, I want to enjoy my life, I want right. to enjoy my family. And your kids. And yes. my kid. Yeah, so adding mm -hmm. more restaurant, that will be something that if you're Take away. tentative, yeah. it's tentative, you yes. know, I see many people that keep open places and they have yeah. like four Kinesia. places, five places. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <Like> and <laughs> I admire them, you know, yeah. no, I don't find, um, you know, but negative 100%, yeah. but it's yes, something yeah, that, wow, how mm -hmm. do they do it, you know? Right. But right. then you see that, you know, one is closing, the other one is uh, going up. And yep. so the energy that as a owner, it's a lot of, wow, it's a lot of, you know, yes. up and down uh, yes. that um, it, it would be very hard for me to deal with that. So I, yeah. I'd rather have to deal with one. I love and, that. You know, it's been many, many years since but I opened one. that place in 1998. I was going to ask that. I was <laughs> like, but that one, honey, is that is, th that yeah. is the biggest 
Hollywood, uh, the biggest restaurant in West Hollywood. Right, is thank you, thank so, you. So and it's world renowned. I mean, people from all over the world come to us. I met. <laughs> Carolina yeah. there all the way from Brazil we have people from Stockholm people from Australia that come all the Canadians time a lot. London. oh Canadians yeah. oh, they we love, love Canadians and the nicest people oh, my Aussies God. my Aussies yeah. and my Canadians yeah. those are my best. they are so my nice God. Yes, Lo- yes. people from London are everywhere so you have built such an empire how did you go from going from a dishwasher right. to own co-owning the number one restaurant in West Hollywood. How but did that it's just like I was mentioned before, it's knowing that you know it's um it's be productive every day, try to you know learn and try to move forward. Mm-hmm. And every single day you have to wake up and say, okay, I'm gonna so knowing that I'm I'm dishwasher right now, but what is, what what is what's the next step? What's your end game? In, end goal. game, you know mm-hmm. what is it? Well, if you speak the language, you're gonna be able to be a buster. Mm-hmm. So I said, well, I will study. Uh, daytime, all day English, and I was working at nighttime. So, mm-hmm. you know, a few months I was able, <laughs> yes, wow. I was able to be a buster <laughs> and then a waiter mm-hmm. and then head waiter. Yep. And then, you know, life uh, puts you on, um, you know, always be on time, always doing, you know, my best. Mm-hmm. And people see that, especially yes, in, in Hollywood. When you, you know, people with money, investors, you know, when you have that energy proof, and that energy, drive. Right. Yeah. And mm-hmm. the drive. Like mm-hmm. you said, um, people sometimes they will love, they will offer you. Yes. You know, I'm about to open this, but I need somebody like you. Yep. And then you start putting your condition. Yeah, I would love to, but you know. Yeah, it, I got so, this thing going on over here. Right. Yeah. So if we, <laughs> you if can kind of name an, your, yeah. If, if we find a way to do that, I will definitely be interested. So awesome. you can have that opportunity. It's happened to me. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah. So, like I said, head waiter, be on top of the game. And then I had the opportunity to be, um, you know, be part. Of, Suri was already established. With this Argentinian family, mm-hmm. which they opened the, the sur, but they didn't know too much about about the business. They they they, they put the heart in there, but it's not easy. Oh if, my you, gosh. you know, if you don't have experience working, so it's not about you the know the business part of it. Right. Oh. It so is, it, it was yeah. very hard for that them. That red tape, just everything that involves the everything that goes into a restaurant, the licensing, zoning, oh my food, God. this. Oof. I mean, all the technical. And keep going, you know, oh you keep being God. mentioned yeah. and stuff. So for them, it was tough. So I, I met them, we, we, we became friends, um, and, you know, and organically, you know, the, the offer was right there on the table. So, mm-hmm. you know, uh, we need help. You know, eventually this is what the duration that the restaurant is going. If you come, you know, and join us, mm-hmm. you know, uh, we, we might have a chance to, to, to go, you know, to keep going. Yeah. And, and then when you have to start making decisions. At that time, I was 27 years old. Okay. And I was already head waiter. And you know how it is. Yeah. You are comfortable. You have your own, your own apartment. Yeah. You have right. your own schedule. You right. have You have your list, your own car. Yes. So, your you know, social life. Yes, you know, so you're young. You still, you yeah. know, like you said. Of and course. Um, But then you think about it. You pass. You know, everything. You know, wow. You have a, an opportunity to be a co-owner. Uh, but on a place that is closing. So that means that, you know, you jump into, you live, you're going to leave this, yep. you jump in here. But that's what you, it's, it's all about. Uncertain, it's but uncertain. Yeah, but, but you take a chance but that's and you life. take a risk. Exactly. I've been, you know, since I moved here, it was the same thing. That was the you know? same risk, yeah. So you take a risk knowing that, you know, well, I have a chance to to make this place go because I know what I'm doing. Exactly. Or I can be around people that I know. So that I definitely, grow. I thought about it. I put my conditions. I want this. I want to change the menu. I want to bring another chef. I want to do this. I want to do that. And they said, you do whatever you want. Oh, wow. Uh, oh. That's, that's, you know, we gave it this percent. You do whatever you want. And I Ooh. left. And I, in the same time that I left mm-hmm. the other job, um, I, I lost my apartment. I lost my car. I mm-hmm. lost everything because I jump in a place that I have to, you know. Build I, I don't, from I don't the have ground it. up. Yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So. But I was just, you know, working for to be my own boss. So right. I was, you you know, were yeah, putting from, in the work. You got from put... eight a.m. to midnight <laughs> yes. every day. You put know, in be the there. Work. Yeah. And uh, I, so I started building it. You know, it was that was Sur. But um, Sur means sex it, unique restaurant, or no, Sur at, is at that like time South. it was. You know, I I like to explain that because sometimes at the time it was. Um, it's, it's sur, it means South in Spanish. Oh, right. Exactly. Arge- it was an Argentinian steakhouse back in that time. Mm-hmm. And um, sur is a famous tango song. Mm. So if you are Argentinian or South American, you know, most they Argentinian, know. Okay. you will know that represent a tango song. But mm-hmm. how many people know that? Right. So by the time, you know, I, I was okay with the name. 
Uh, sometimes mm-hmm. it's good to have a short name, you know, small, so people it's easy to, to Remember, memorize yeah, exactly. it. Exactly. And uh, but well, the story I will explain you how do they change okay. later on. I will explain <laughs> you how do they change. Okay. From from that <laughs> to idea to okay. the other idea. Okay. So anyway, I was um, you know I um, I start building it. Okay. You know, Argentinian family decided to. Um, it, there, there was enough time for them to be in America, so they decided to go back to Argentina. Mm. So I got an opportunity to, you know, get the whole thing. Right. And I, um, you know, after, and, and, you know, after a year or so two years, they were working together. Mm-hmm. The restaurant was already functioned the way. They, but mm-hmm. I want to go you higher. Know, you I want to go higher. Bigger. I was ready to, mm-hmm. to, f- to, to go to the next step. But Absolutely. you have to, as a partner, when you have a business partner, it's, it's very important to be in the same page. Otherwise, oh. it's like. Very difficult to grow, very difficult to deal in the business. So it's very important when you have a partner to be on the same page. And it's something that, you know, if it doesn't match, mm-hmm. you know, one of them probably will have to give up. And um, they decided to go back. So it was an opportunity for me to say, well, now I have it. Mm-hmm. Let's figure it out how to. And in that time, I met um, Natalie, my wife. Ah! I was going to ask. That was cr- yeah. question number six. How yeah. did you well, meet no, Natalie? I'm going to add Natalie in that. Because like, I always believe that, you know, two brains do better than one. Of course. And, uh, and she became part of not only part of my life, you know. she, mm-hmm. uh, she, be, she Mother she, to she, your two beautiful children. Right. We got <laughs> married in France with her. She's French. Oh. And uh, well, she left the whole life of France. Yes, you know, just to be with me and to to grow with me. But you guys met um, here. She was visiting. Yeah, she, she was visiting. She, she came to Sur, oh. so she oh. was a customer. Yeah, so you Get know, sometimes out. like I never a, knew that. Amazing. Yeah, so she came to um, she came to study. When well, she was playing you, okay, I, okay. I believe that yes. you know she okay. have a long story but to tell them. Your story we want to see your view. Yeah, <laughs> no, she came. You know, she came to um, America to study uh, for one month intense in, in UCLA. English oh, wow. to Aww. get the English, um, you know, to of go course. to the next level oh, in her job in, in, in Paris. And that's very rare because usually people go to England and, you know, gets close. She got an opportunity to uh-huh. go in England or uh, wow. she chose L.A. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, she got a f- uh, common friend that they both decided to go um, to L.A. Yes. Awesome. And um, so meant she ended be. up, meant to be, she ended up coming to Sur mm-hmm. and um, ice contact. Yes. And then, language, was, yeah. and then you know we start from there. The rest is history. <laughs> yeah, it's a beautiful history uh, behind that. And you know that. what is amazing? Oh. In soccer, Argentina and French are the worst Brazil enemies. Oh right. my yeah. God, yeah. Mary. <laughs> no, thank God you didn't have boys. Like I mentioned to you, Argentinian Brazil, Argentinian France. Uh, soccer is one thing. <laughs> right, yeah, right. When it's a Those soccer game, separate, no? yeah, we separate. <laughs> yes. We sit different. Dist- we make distance. Right. And we we both <laughs> carry now, different flags. Where do the kids flag. go? Where do the kids go? Where I have two girls, so they go one with her, one one with me. (laughs) (laughs) That is so funny. Okay, so people ask me all the time, um, the the customers, our customer guests that come in, they ask me, wasn't this place, didn't they used to, and they think that they hear rumors about the restaurant being a furniture place at at one point or doing like when Ah, you found it. How did that go? You know, so... Going back to that, you know, I met Natalie, and together we put the energy to start uh, putting a business plan. Oh, to go to the next level. You know, Got we it. wanted to. Next to us, it was a furniture store, so okay. we were like two hundred, uh, two thousand square feet. Okay. And next to us, it was another three thousand square feet. Okay. So the idea is to continue, mm-hmm. and at the same time, take over this furniture store. Of course. Which is they were about, they were about to go. Mm-hmm. You know, the lease was expiring. They were about to close the business and keep going. So mm-hmm. that was inside of the proposal that I have mm-hmm. when I was dealing with potential um, investors. Right. Which is there were a lot of people interested in that. Oh, I'm sure. But this is um, who came to my life. Lisa, Lisa Van Lisa <laughs> and Ken Todd. How? They're both. They went right. to say I know. Yeah, so eventually, you know, we have um, a, a lawyer well, they came to they came from England to invest in mm-hmm. West Hollywood. They, they, you know, they, they, with a lot Bella of knowledge, Rosa, uh-huh. with, oh, a lot we know, of, um, with a lot of knowledge, yes, many businesses in, in in Soho, in Soho, a lot of restaurants, a lot of clubs, so enormous experience mm-hmm. of, of business. Yep. They decided to come to LA, uh, follow uh, Pandora because Pandora decided to study in, in Pepperdine. You know, okay, in, in, there in you go. Pepperdine So, you know, University, just, you know yeah. as, a, as a parent, you just want to follow of your kids. Your, your kids. Yeah. So that was one of the, you know, <laughs> yeah. uh, reasons that they went back, uh, they came back to L.A. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, okay, well, if we're going to move to L.A., mm-hmm. you know, we, we need to establish Open a business. Open up some and ways. Yeah. And uh, so right. they, they they have the same lawyer that I was, you know, getting involved in order for me to, 
somebody represent me and you know right. because it's a lot of it's a lot of paperwork of course it's a lot of stuff that you do mm -hmm. and you need legal advisor legal this absolutely Protect and that particular yourself. lawyer yeah. he was also my customer at so mm. it was kind of good connection and he a wanted good to relationship do, uh -huh. yeah. relation so he, he he definitely wanted for me to achieve what i was looking um Somehow, you know, they, you know, they, the he suggested to, yeah, <laughs> he suggested that to Ken and Lisa. Ken uh -huh. and Lisa came to the restaurant. Wow. We met, and uh, I think it was just immediately the love that that we 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 got it together. You yeah. know, I remember sitting in here and have Lisa and Ken, mm -hmm. Ken and Lisa mm -hmm. together, and um, we just chat. You know, like a mm -hmm. nice conversation. Yes, and um, and I, you know, I just expressed myself that it would be interesting, you know, to find the right partners and. And immediately she said, well, I think you find it. You found them. You I found think him. you just found them. So, you know, sometimes it's, uh, believe it or not, <laughs> wow. uh, the vision that they have is enormous, enormous. It's hard to explain that, you know. The uh, possibilities, the, right, of where, you know, yeah, just, yeah. But the vision that they have, mm -hmm. you know, in order to immediately know that this is the one mm -hmm. we wanted to do and, and, you know. The fact that you know we have a space immediately they connect each other talking about couple that's yes. that's powerful couple of course oh my of god course. they are they are <laughs> united like that they are and i'm brilliant brilliant and so brilliant so same day we we decided to same to be day partners. wow so the day after you know whatever i ask whatever yes. decided to invest in that it was all coming oh, but then you know wow. you have to prove of course i mean you instinct can be good uh -huh. yes. at the same time you know it can be disappointed very true. And, um, and that was 20 years ago. Um, yeah, almost 20 years ago that we became partner, which is, you know, is, um, you know, the rest wow. of history, you the know, for those 2,000 square feet. Now we have 10,000 square feet. Yes. Because we were able to keep going and expanding going. Expanding and expanding. There is um, and a beautiful relationship with a lot of respect, with a lot of, That's right. you know, admiration between two people. The, yeah. you know, the, the two couples. The two yes. couples, yes. you know. Absolutely. And um, from there, you know, you grow, you know, and, um, you know, the rest is history. history like I said, yes. There is a lot of happening in that restaurant, you know. That's always. what I was going <laughs> to That's going to be my next <laughs> question. Sure. So did you ever think Vanderpump Rules would be as successful as it is? It's hard. When when I hear that question, is um, I'm always think that f ahead of the game. I, don't ask me if, uh, you know, mm -hmm. I don't want to be selfish to say that I'm always ahead of the game, but I okay. always think ahead of the game. Right. You know, you think in um, the future. It's okay. I think in the yes, future and I think course. the future is achievable. Long term. I, I, yeah. You know, as long as I um, continue with the same, what, what my brain can do and what my heart can do, not try to, you know, be all over and, you know, pretend that, you know, step outside your lane or do stuff. Yeah. Right. I mean, so, yeah. Because sometimes it's hard. Sometimes you have tempted for something else and you go this direction, you go this direction. So as long as I was, so I, 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 I thought it was, um, you always have to be creative in the mm -hmm. restaurant. You always have to. It's not about just cooking good food and, you know, just welcome people. Right. Beside that, you need to always. The you know, ambiance. Ambiance. The, yes. You know, to, to be, uh, yes. adapt yourself with the culture, new culture, new That's tendency. Right. And, um, right. you know, give back, right. give back. And um, consistency mm -hmm. also is important with the food and with the drinks and everything. And um, so always you think about it, you know. So prior to the independent rules, mm -hmm. I always in contact with um, servers, server mm -hmm. employees, because, I, you know, eventually I was one of them <laughs> not too long ago. Right, so I know exactly that, you know, there is a lot of, um, a lot of um, server that they are, you know, they, that's a part-time job. Right. Beside that, they oh, like yeah, to, we have <laughs> there is a life one, yeah. that you want to achieve beside yeah. that, you know. Of course. And, uh, and there's a lot of actors, there's yes. a lot of musicians, oh, yeah. uh, dancers, whatever you can imagine. They all come in all over the world mm -hmm. to be in Hollywood and to succeed, you know. And um, it's something that I personal experience. Mm -hmm. And I, I think, you know, whoever was working at Sur in that moment, they have the same uh, desire. lifestyle, desire. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it is something that, you know... Mm -hmm. um, Lisa, at that time, she was um, famous with um, Housewives. But, uh, Housewives. Yep, Beverly Hills. You know, Hills. she started getting like that. Yep. You know, she, like I oh. said, you know, <laughs> yeah. she was, all oh, of a sudden, yeah. she's, you know, she's got this opportunity and she took it and she's just. Oh, absolutely. Uh, she was amazing. She was oh, amazing. She was a you know, icon. And that show that. <laughs> icon. Just an exa example of how we became partners and how her life was. Yeah. And how it was prior to that. Exactly. So, you know, that. Just, that yeah, that's a reflection of who she is. It's a reflection of who she is. Yeah. So mm -hmm. she became famous with the housewife. And they want to they wanted to do a spin-off. They want to do something else beside that. Right. And that's when organically, you know, the idea of um, Vanderpump. do a pilot based right. on the life 
of uh, servers. Servers. <laughs> <laughs> servers, yeah. And, um, and we just did it, you know. Oh, we just did it. Wow. You did a pilot, the network like it, and then you just been, you know, jump in and you put everything. I was uh, um, always involved mm -hmm. as much as I can. Mm -hmm. um, I follow Lisa, you know, yes. uh, style, because, you know, that that's her image and her style. Mm -hmm. So I was kind of participating, and I, Natalie and I, we were always happy to be. And it was, I think it's, it's a big challenge because you, you do have a real restaurant that you have to, you know, maintain, continue, maintain. And do the day-to-day -day, yeah, yeah, business yeah. operations right. at and the same time, creating the You have camera, you have yes. employees, <laughs> which is your formal work, you know, a switch to be an actor because it's, even right. if we call it reality based on the real life, uh -huh. but you have to, you know. Yeah, stop. present in front of a camera exactly. and know so what you're doing. So we say that it's kind of acting yeah. in a different way, but it's acting. It's unscripted. And but it's scripted. yeah, it is, yeah. And, mm -hmm. uh... But at the same time, you are a worker. So, you know, it was something right. that... So, and I have tables that I'm God. still trying to get this tip from. <laughs> I so have that, a question right? for you about yeah. this show. Like, you think sometimes their behavior would uh, interfere in the restaurant in a bad way? No, I don't I never think that it's in a bad way. Because, no. you know, the rest... The, we understood for day one that, you know, this kind of show, reality is based on drama. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it could be a comedian um, reality. Right. It could be, you know, an adventure reality. <laughs> right, or right, like, you know, like right. you go to the island and exactly. all the guests. Yeah. You know, uh, yeah, but like in this... Love uh, Island. <laughs> totally. But in this particular case, it was uh, the real drama that they, they daily live, yes. you know, um, in their daily life. Yes. So I knew that it would be drama. Yes. You know, For sure. and that uh, if I affect the, the, the real worker to the uh, somehow you know you have to understand that you know so it, it was a lot of talking between you know not to cross the line right and try not to cross because sometimes they cross the line but at the same time you have to go back so right. it was a matter of be present you know yes, i always knew as a business you know i don't want to jeopardize to lose the restaurant right i don't want to lose this opportunity either exactly so be present natalie and i and mm -hmm. ken and lisa we all mm -hmm. always very careful to be present and you know if it's somebody cross the line mm -hmm. bring it back to what is that and you know and keep going mm -hmm. and that that proved that it is possible it is it, it is this work yes. <laughs> like and life it is it's yeah. kind of like a dance in between yeah. you know thinking of, of like what is too far versus what is going to be perfect for the camera you right, know what right. i mean but that is behind this um it's not only lisa and, mm -hmm. and i or ken and Natalie, mm -hmm. there is a teamwork behind, you know, oh. Evolution Company. Oh, for sure. It was, uh, you know, we, <laughs> when the production company came and introduced himself, Alice Baskin. Yes. Uh, which is, I have a lot of Shout respect out. on him. He yes, is uh, respectful, you know, uh, very smart. Very. And whatever team is behind him is mm -hmm. the same thing. So it was a, it was a, uh, a I mean, perfect a, a marriage. A perfect marriage. Of and everyone. Every, exactly. And, mm -hmm. and the reason is because we all, talk to each other constantly and we are present and you know if we have any doubt immediately we try to fix it and so it it, it was comp it was risky but at mm -hmm. the same time uh it risky is a good thing a yes it <laughs> is look at what happened it's yeah. risky. Right? Yeah. I know. <laughs> so who do you think um out of everyone all of the cast of vanderpump rules mm -hmm. who do you feel like has changed for the better I think they the all did way. very good. They did. Uh, they huh? did very Everyone. good. You know, mm -hmm. I'm talking about for the better economically, for the better as a, you know, culturally. I mean, uh, they all grew. Mm -hmm. um, and eventually, and whatever they've done is uh, they well deserve it. Right. It is something very, very hard to be a star, yeah. reality Ooh. star. Um, <laughs> yes. As an actor, myself, uh, even if I participate and I would love to continue this, um, apport to the show. Of course. It's something that I can, from day one, I knew that I don't want to be part of that right. a full commitment i mm -hmm. want to be part but not in this way so yeah. um so whatever they do it's just wow i admire them it's just you know it, they will deserve it it's not easy at all okay. you can have an amazing per personality and like people say wow mm -hmm. you should be in camera or for right. the camera is coming and say action mm -hmm. there's no more speech you know right and, and then you're like <laughs> <laughs> i know like a deer in headlights right so and that happened <laughs> Yes. You know, with many people. Oh, I'm uh, sure. I saw I'm a sure. Lot of, so whoever is, uh, start from what they start and today where they are, they, oh my God, I applaud them. Oh, I applaud those them. are like so, your babies, kind yes, of. Like you just watched they all, them they grow. All went, and they all go this direction, that direction. Yes. They all like walking, you know. Uh, 
So, you know, it's hard for me to say which one is the of one. Of course, yeah, of course. Yeah, all of them. They're all amazing. Of them. And they're my friend. <laughs> you know, so I, I, I keep of an course. amazing relationship with them. Even and Dodie, Kristen Dodie, I know oh, she I love her. I love <laughs> and she's the oh best. She's the best. I love her. I love her. I love her. <laughs> the staff, yeah. I know I was watching the episode. But you can talk, you know, Kristen, full of personality, you know. So, yeah, you know, totally. it is something that he was 100% committed. Not only, I had to remark that because, you know, people will always probably see her as, you know, somebody special on the show. Mm-hmm. But, she always has such respect for customers mm. that it was something that it was, wow. Really? Even if we have something, they um, that it didn't match, you mm-hmm. know, personality. Right. But always 100% committing to the welcome to people. Oh, and it reminds me a lot about you as well. Hey. Eh? So same personality <laughs> that you have, yeah. um, a little bit of what you have. Yeah. She had it on welcome people and making sure that, you know, uh, customers at first, um, and she was always fight for that. Yes. You know, if she yes. doesn't have the, the food on time, she had the drink on time. She was always present, present, present. And 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 that's, I gave a lot of credit to her. Oh, I, I love, love her. that. Yeah. Yay, yeah. Dodie. <laughs> see, now everything you thought you knew about Dodie, she is actually wonderful. Just because everyone praised when she got fired. <laughs> the whole, did you see that episode? The whole kitchen was like, ah. They were so happy. I'm like, you guys. Right, but that's an example. To ex- know her is to love her. That's a perfect example of, a, you know, of, right. of, of, you know, of, of what we're talking about. Sometimes, exactly. you know, there are two different persons united in one. There you go. But, um, I know. You know. But she made history, though. And shout she out did, to the Valley she, and yeah. all the spinoffs and everything. Oh, and much there's success. more to come for her. I know. I was about oh to say, God. there's so much her more. Life to come. Oh, Foolish my stuff. gosh. Do you have any questions? Yes. Yeah. The audience has some questions for you. I post yesterday that you were coming. And a lot of people send some questions for you. First of all, like, who is better, Messi or Maradona? All right. That's a good question. Uh, I, I think as a soccer player, they're both, uh, it's, it's a hard question. You know, know. you know, as, as to an Argentinian guy, you know, it's that you, some people immediately they say, Messi, Maradona, you know. Mm-hmm. In my case, it's that they're both talented, mm-hmm. enormous talent. Yeah. And so the, the skill they both have mm-hmm. is the same. One, you know, if you go to, you know, I think it's part of the package is also how you do in life. How uh-huh. do you, you know, became a person that you are, example mm-hmm. to people and, you know. Absolutely. Uh, uh, and I think Messi is all the way up on, on, mm-hmm. on lifestyle. Yeah. You know, the way on that he presents him. court, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. There is also, I'm always have conscious that, you know, the life that Maradona lived back in that time is a different timing, than today, you know, than uh-huh. today. Today, for today, there is a, all the eyes, all the Phones, all mm-hmm. the whatever mess he does, mm-hmm. whatever single thing yeah, that he does, anything. He's every, sneezes, ev- he sneezes, he does. Everybody <laughs> is looking. So you have to be really, really committed. In that mm. time, there was not, there was a, you know, reporter, yes. paparazzi, mm-hmm. but you know, so he was a little probably more free to do whatever he wants. He was not under the pressure of a. Uh, of the, er, the scrutiny, the public scrutiny, right? Yeah. That time, it was a different eye. area. So, right. you know, that doesn't allow, you know, to, it doesn't mean that I prove, you know, whatever. Yeah. Maybe wrong he did or no, who yeah. knows? But it was another style of life. So it's hard to compare, you know, but it's, um, you know, it's uh, for me, if both. I base on both talent, <laughs> mm-hmm. both have an amazing talent. And I'm proud to say that I'm Argentinian and I um, yes. have Messi and Maradona and both in, uh, yes. in my heart. <laughs> And a little bit of George Clooney. A little bit of George Clooney. <laughs> Jorge Clooney. <laughs> Jorge. <laughs> yeah. I love that. Cl- Clooney always... with an accent. Yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I love and it. Of course, you are excited for the World Cup here. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah, well, very gosh. excited. Yeah, it's coming I coming along. I mean, the, the one, one, you know, the, if ever, I don't know if people know, but mm-hmm. Argentina became champion for yes. the World Cup. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so we, we were, you know, happened last year, and we were, for the next three years, we're going to be They deserve it. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. And we're going to keep reminding She's everyone. She's a little salty about <laughs> it. It's okay. We, can, we yeah. cannot hate Messi. Yeah. You know, yeah. we cannot hate Messi. There right. Is no so excited way for what it's coming. You know, I think LA is a wonderful city to to be. I mean, it's, yes. it's, it's, it's home for me. Mm-hmm. Uh, I got the opportunity uh, to travel, to, to go to many different places, to, to visit city, and, you know, and but I always find... Happy when I come back home. And, when you come which back, is, uh, it's LA. Mm-hmm. Even if Argentina is, uh, it's on my heart and everything. Of course, but uh, you know, LA is yeah. something that I. Uh, it's another piece of your heart as well. It is. Yeah, yeah. for uh, sure. What is your um, most favorite vacation spot? 
There is a place in Spain. I knew it. I was a, like, there is a, you know, <laughs> yeah, no I'm going to explain you what it is. So, you know, so you got bar, you, you fly to Spain okay. and you go to Barcelona, but then you have to fly to uh, Ibiza. Ortega, Ibiza. Oh. But not only Ibiza. I like the island after Ibiza, which is called Formentera. Oh, Yeah, okay. it's a very small island. It's okay. 14 kilometers from one side to another one. Oh. I discovered that island to my wife, Natalie, that she oh. used to vacation prior to... to Met me and yes, and I um I think it's a paradise. Really? You know, for Mantera, oh, it's a place to for oh. me to go and relax. You know, th there is many other places, no? But of course, and now we just spoil you because now everybody knows. <laughs> I know, no, I know, it's okay. They can't like afford said, it. Not everybody can afford it. <laughs> it's hard to get there because right. people will stay in Ibiza, <laughs> and then in Ibiza you have to take a boat another hour and end up in that island. But if you have, if whoever had the opportunity. My God, you will see what I'm talking about. It's, That's what it it's is. It's a destination. Yeah. We, we plan for, um, well, your, her, her, yeah, her my party. next year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go to uh, Ibiza first, part, party in Spain, right? and then take the ferry and go to Greek and ah, go to wow, Mykonos. Perfect. You see how it is? Can I do that? <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> You approved my time off oh already? Oh, my God. You yeah, yeah, yeah. And I signed it. Okay. Yes! Yeah, you can have it the day off for sure. Yeah. They're coming. Join us. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. That is amazing. That is amazing. So having two girls, what was your biggest your biggest challenge of having two girls? I think I'm, 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 I'm you know, I, I became <laughs> ready to really think about it, how, how blessed I am to have two daughters. Exactly. You know? No, I just love it. You know, course. I just love it. You You're a girl dad. You are such a girl I dad. I love it. I you love are. it. And, you know, if I have a thought, you know, mm -hmm. it would it be, could it be nice to have a boy, you know? Yeah, like a, yeah. But I don't, I don't even think about it. You know, no. the girls is just, it's, it's, yeah. it's, they're, it's, just they're the same. Girls. You know, I don't even, they, are. they can do anything that the boy can do, you know? Yes. So I don't feel like, you know, exactly. uh, that I miss something in there. Oh, times are changing. Oh, exactly. God. I want to have a boy so bad. It's like, I want to have a soccer player. Then I had a girl and like, oh my God, I love her so much. Yes. <laughs> so much well, she, fun. She can be a soccer player. That, that's <laughs> what I mean. You know? <laughs> even if for it. South America, you know, <laughs> exactly. we're still yeah, with the thinking that the only men can do that. But, you know, girls can be an amazing soccer players. And so, like I said, whatever, you know, uh, yes. Girls, they do. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever she wants to do, she can be the president of the world. Amazing. You know, so I'm, I'm, I'm definitely, <laughs> I think it does. You know, you think about what this, because everything happened for a reason. I That's believe right. destination, um, you know, uh, everything happened. I believe that the reason that I'm here is because, uh, you know, my daughters, you know. Yes. If you think about it, it's not about mm, trying to make it in Hollywood, became a, you know, restaurant owner, so, you know, be. That was part you of know, the journey. I, the, the, if you're thinking about the journey, and you know, I'm, 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 I will say that I'm, I did, I, I did good. Yes, you, you know, did. With, you with, did with great. With my daughters. Still doing. They're amazing. Long yeah. way to go. No, they are so amazing. We're going to shout out Lou and Mia Rose right now. Hey, yeah. Lou, Lou yeah. and Mia Rose. <laughs> yes. They are amazing. Okay, so, okay, this is going to be um, <laughs> my last question, but what was the biggest culture shock when you got to L.A.? Like, what was that like? I know I'm, uh, yeah, I'm no, kind of doubling back. Yeah, no, but I'm going to the point. I mean, but, is, well, yeah. I mean, you know, Ar Argentinian, if you go to Argentina, which is going to be for you too, and you might like it or you might not, mm -hmm. it's we kiss on the cheek, you know? Yes, hey, yes. You know, oh, you yeah, hug. we're all so huggy. You know how I am. I'm such a touchy feeling. But it's not, you, you, you are well, you're outside of the, yeah, okay. you're an exception. <laughs> Uh, it is something that... Uh, You're yeah, right. That I didn't is, realize that. So the first impression that Argentina has, and Brazilian uh -huh. as well, I believe, yes. so no? Yes. You, you yeah, know, kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, mwah, mwah, yes. And they're here, like, whoa, yeah, know, like, oh. you know? Personal space. Huh? Personal space. <laughs> Even when you go to supermarket, you know? Yeah. Somehow you just get closer, and yeah. you, what you get so okay. immediately... <laughs> Argentina is like yes. that. I don't know in Brazil, but I believe yeah, really probably yeah. this. Yeah. And you just, you know, the distance is this. I mean, here, yeah. the distance is there. So at the beginning, I was like, whoa, whoa, that whoa, whoa, so sorry. Oh, yeah, oh, sorry, I mean, sorry, yeah. yeah. Until I, 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 I think it, that was one of the, um, you know, that first reaction so that funny. I had, like, whoa. Yeah, like, whoa. <laughs> I know. <laughs> sorry, Americans are assholes. <laughs> no, yeah. no, 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 just a different I'm culture. Kidding, kidding. But that happened with you guys no, as well. That we respect the personal space. No, right. no, especially no, as a woman. Yeah. Like, no, like space. many Brazil and, doesn't and, respect and, much. You're like, okay. And, and then for instance, walk on the street. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Another thing that I was surprised is when I was crossing the street, yeah. cars will stop here. Yes. Oh, oh they don't stop it. No, Argentina. no. So that's two things that I would probably advise the, the red. <laughs> to an American going to Argentina is... Please watch don't out. step out. Don't, yeah. don't yeah. run you over. Watch out with that. 
you know, you, you wait until the car pass and you have enough space because, you know, all of the sun, another car can come, you know, faster. Right, right. So you take your time to cross the street. <laughs> okay. Don't expect for nobody to stop. stop. And then, you know, be ready that they're going to jump on you. They're going to kiss you. They're going to do that. Yes, yes. Okay, and, uh, got it. Yay, <laughs> and I love that. So it sounds like Argentina is my new home. There we go. You will match perfectly <laughs> there. When we go to Brazil right there, George and China. Please. I want to go so bad. Actually, I think I did. Um, wait, no. You, uh, wait, I'm we not. have more questions. What's Please, your favorite you Argentinian food? Barbecue. You know, Bar steak. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, Easy. that was original. My uh, Now I'm a little more diverse, you know, yes, with fish you and vegetables. Yes, and, you salmon know. in the fridge. And yes. And, uh, yeah, uh, I mean, the veggies. But I think the Argentinian barbecue, oh. which is very um, related to the Brazilian barbecue. You From know, the it's, south, uh, yes. it's, uh, it's, you know. Is it like Foco de Chao. Foco de Chao, you know, as okay. a Brazilian style. Mm -hmm. In Argentina, you know, the whole process of, you know, do the barbecue with the wood. You mm. know, you burn wood. Oh, that, and then that you hickory take your time. smoke. Oh, exactly. Sounds so good. And that the timing of the process, you know, having a glass of wine with your friend. Oh, when yeah. the fire is still, oh. you know, getting in there. You know, Have after, you been to Mendoza? The you know, I haven't been in Mendoza, and it's a shame on me that I haven't been in Mendoza. <laughs> uh, but like I said, you know, he didn't have a, a, an opportunity yet. Yes. And I'm, I'm apologize for that. But, you know, the wine in Mendoza is amazing. And, mm -hmm. you know, the Malbec, Argentinian Malbec. Oh, the Argentinian yes. Malbec. They yeah, have a really Malbec, good yes. one at Trader Joe's. I know. Yes. It's just that I know. Yes. And it's, it's really cheap, but it's so and good. Amazing ones in, and it's so good. Yes. <laughs> well, of course. I advise, as an Argentinian, <laughs> Absolutely. try the Malbec. Yes. It's something, you know, oh, very I love Malbec. different. Um, uh, and besides the Malbec, what else do you like to drink? Oh, on my case? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, I drink water a lot, <laughs> as you can see. <laughs> I'm drinking a lot of coffee. Yeah. Okay. And, and like I said, it's a, I own a bar, which is, you know, it's considered sure it's a bar as well, yes. um, for many, many years. And, you know, I used to drink. But now, you know, when, when you get old, the way that I'm aging, yeah, you know, well, so, you know, you, you, you have to, at a certain point, you have to decide, you know, uh, less drink, more natural. Is You want to keep in a good yeah. shape. And, well, yeah. you know, but I, I got an opportunity when I was 30, yeah. of course. 40s, uh -huh. yeah. you know, and then at a certain point I said, well, <coughs> it's time for me to, <coughs> to slow down. Water. I got you. <laughs> no, I, I don't yeah. see him do more than a pass, a glass of sangria. If, yeah, if sangria. That. Yeah, if that's a good that. Yeah, yeah. that. But yeah, he's not really much of a drinker. But it was so funny to me when, I, when you first started, I started watching you on Vanderpump Rules. You started off and you had all this black hair, right. and then it went salt and pepper like no, during the, yeah. and then now it's like almost like when Obama went in the office, right. you know, he started <laughs> off as like salt and pepper, and then by the time, right, it was but like Obama oh my was god, very quick. Yeah. <laughs> well, that gave me well. the opportunity, know, you know. I know it was a lot more. I mean, it took a lot. Yeah. <laughs> that 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 allowed me, you know, in a few months from now, by Christmas time, I will get a part time job, you know, putting oh, no. all the red and Santa Claus is in town. <laughs> I already see myself in a couple of years, you know, no. leaving my, my You know, stomach. a lot of women want to sit on your lap, right? You're like, okay, I know. <laughs> Sorry, Natalie, Natalie, I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> but here's the thing. Men, no, the he women get go crazy. But he's getting wider <laughs> by the hour, and it's so annoying. Yeah. Like, yeah. even though wider, 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 yeah. your men just age so graceful, well, you. Amen. So right. Yeah, like, you guys get better, like, uh -huh. with wine. It's just annoying. <laughs> it's annoying. Like, yeah. we start cracking, and the guys look better. It's like, how do you get older well, and Thank you better? for the compliment. Of course. Thank it's you. the water, right? <laughs> it's the water, exactly. It's the water. Oh, my goodness. Well, I just, this time has flown by. I know that you have other things to do. I do just you... have one last question. Yeah, please. Yes. A lot please. of girls were asking me on uh, Instagram if you guys are hiring and what do they have to do to get a yes. job. Yes, yeah. so what happened right? is, uh, yeah, there is an, an, on a website. Is anybody go to the website? Mm -hmm. um, you, there's an application that you can just submit um, your resume, your whatever, you know, they ask you in there. And mm -hmm. definitely we have a team looking always, um, okay. you know, and to find new people. When is the right time? Sometimes it's like, I feel like I would love to give job to everyone. Right. Mm -hmm. But um, there is always um, a space in there. Mm -hmm. So welcome to send you a resume. Somebody will look at it and mm -hmm. we will wait until their opportunity. It happened to you, no? Yes, it did. You know, it's also Paolo. Paolo, yeah. actually, I went in there on a Thursday mm -hmm. and I spoke to Paolo, who's our head uh, bar manager. Mm -hmm. And he, I was just like, oh, I kind of sat by myself, ordered goat cheese balls and a glass of wine and um, kind of asked. I was like, um, you know, I don't know if you guys are hiring, but, you know, what should I do? My daughter just graduated high school. You know, I have some free time right. on my hands. Yeah. You know, like, mm -hmm. what can I do? He was like, well... 
come back and talk to Guillermo on Thursday. He'll be here on Thursday, Thursday night. Come back. And as for the owner, Guillermo, I said, okay. I was like, I knew exactly who you were. I was like, okay. So I go in there. (laughs) I see Guillermo. He was so nice and so welcoming. And he was just like, yeah, um, I'll email. Uh, he, He gave me. His wife's email. That that would be, you know, something because some people because ask me was, in person was, like you did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then Natalie. So I always advise, you know, mm-hmm. if, if I have to say, you know, she's, uh, you know, email Natalie. You yep, know, exactly. They, they with her, there they, they might be an opportunity. Mm-hmm. Like I said, sometimes it's the right time. You know, you, yep. and I remember you asked in the right mm-hmm. moment that it we was. need some help. Yep. And, um, it was. And, and then I believe Natalie had an interview with you. Yes, and, she did. Yeah. Uh, so mm-hmm. it was like a week went by and then I just went back and I was like, dang, how do I go back and not ask? You know, it seemed like a crazy person. Uh, so I just went the next Thursday and I said, hi, you know, yeah, just yeah. to say hi. And he was like, oh, what she said, like, that. Busy. You know, once in a while, you know, just keep going and you yeah know, yeah you know. it was like yeah you so you told the next day i had an interview after i went in the second time and nice. just said hi and then look at that in well the rest done. is history look well in the done. rest is history so now in you know making. what you do well <laughs> no you know yeah. what you're doing <laughs> yeah if you guys have that you know if it's if all the stars align do it go for it reach for the stars i never thought that they would hire me <laughs> to be honest with you like i mean i knew it i just well my daughter said mom just try it the yeah. worst they can say is no. You're ready. Because I no, just thought right? that it was all, you know, these young people and all of, you know, everyone's models. And yeah, no, but like that. I say, that, 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 that's, <laughs> yeah. we're always looking for the great personality. You know, yeah. that's my, my, you know, advice when you apply for a job, mm-hmm. be presentable, be, you know, Absolutely. contact, eye contact, be, yes, you know, sir. fluent <laughs> and positive and, and you get right. it, you know, yep. you get it. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, by the way, pleasure, for changing my pleasure, life. My pleasure. Thank you. Of course. Thank you. Oh my goodness. This is, this hour has flown by oh, no. like literally all right we got all the information yes. i'm happy to be here because it was it was, it was a, so let a lot of fun so let us know where people can find you yeah where, where can you? they find you on your instagram beside the restaurant yeah because i'm still going sir. there i know right he's <laughs> yeah. there every day oh he In, is there. my instagram is g z like zoro s u r yeah. G-Z-S-U-R. So yeah, it's his initials and then sir so g z s u r right and i you know i like to yeah, sometimes I put too many pictures, but you know, yes, no, <laughs> I'm pictures. knowing. But you know, I like to keep updates. <laughs> and then you know, also you know, we have a nice Instagram at the restaurant, so people can you know uh, be update of news. Mm-hmm. Yes, exactly. Hopefully, we got great news. Any movies coming? coming? Yes, actually, I'm going to. I'm, I have a new film called The Clouds, Las Nubes. Okay. In Spanish, I'm Las very Nubes. proud of Las yes. Nubes. Yes, wow. so that I'm was happy in 2024. To to, right. So right now is in the time that I'm doing a lot of film festivals. I was about to say international yeah, film international festivals. International film festivals. I'm going to Brazil. Yeah. Yes. Next week, then Argentina, and then I have a, a, an amazing distribution company waiting for me um, in America, and they're planning to release the film in March. So next oh. 2025. Oh 2025. Okay. So okay. That's my I want one. my invite. I want to step on that red ah, carpet. We're going to do it on a red carpet yeah. for sure. <laughs> and then I will you come do back to talk about the movie. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we can do a little bit of That's that. That's amazing. And also, um, Tuesdays, um, Kendra Erica, she actually was on the show as well. So oh, he nice. gives everyone, yes, singers and all of us, opportunities. Yes. So you guys come check out our singer, Kendra Erica, every single Tuesday at yes. Sir. She's, yeah, she's and amazing. And an amazing yeah. singer mm-hmm. for sure. Yes, she yeah. is. Oh my gosh, why well, thank you so my pleasure. Thank much, you. Guillermo thank you. Zapata. Everybody thank you. give a warm welcome. <laughs> thank you. And thank you, Mark. Yes, thank you so not much, here Mark. today. Say hi. My hey. pleasure. Thank you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for tuning in. You guys check us out um, every single Tuesday. Thanks for watching. With this episode, we wrap season one, but we have more for season two. We stay tuned and don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Have a good week. We'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.